I hope we're losing weight because mama has something planned for yes. finishing our run. So my mind is gonna get me, I'm thinking of my reward and that's gonna get me to my five and a half miles sooner. Every change has a reason Baby, let it come to you Every soul, every season Lives outside of status quo If we stop believing we're meant to be Expanding our abilities If the passion's gone, we are doing it wrong Baby, you and I, baby, you and I Tuesday, July 7, we are out doing our dopey training run. So mama, we just finished one mile. Yes. This is my mask. And, and usually and I'm a 12 minute per mile pace. And today I got it under 11. I'm so I proud mama. 1047 uh, I think. And we're getting off yeah. to a much Later, Later start. start. So it's, it's hot. What time is it? One o'clock? Yeah. One thirty. One thirty. Yeah. So my hair's just sweat right now. Oh. Hey, yeah, yeah. We're gonna see what we're gonna do if we're gonna run some more, or just walk the rest. We could. We'll debate. I mean, we're already sweaty, so it doesn't hurt. I didn't bring a water or Gatorade with me. No, nope, I brought chilies. I thought we're only running a mile. Only one mile. Only a mile. I forgot to mention I'm wearing my new Lululemon skirt today and it's very nice with pockets and the shorts aren't riding up. We decided to run along the stream and it's much cooler down here. Normally we always walk in here but it's flat pavement so it's good for running. There's the water. Mama, there she is. Come on, Mama. We just finished our run, and Mama, I'm yes. so proud of you. We were only gonna do one mile. We decided, let's go for a second. And I don't have my water or Gatorade. No. So I thought I'll go to two. Being in the shade. But the, the trees shade. help. And the path is nice on this side where it's even. There's more joggers on this side. Yep, and the best today part. was empty. We did two miles, average pace 10.57. So mama did under 11 minutes. Yes. I'm I so proud of her. Yeah, I might have helped towards the end run a little extra at nine pace, but still it counts. And today's one of those days where my legs were hurting earlier and just exhausted again. And it didn't feel like running or getting out. But it's those days that count the most because you're glad just to get out and do it. And then you've gotten that done. You have more energy and you can accomplish the day. So don't give up on those days. Just get out and try it. And see what you can do. It was so nice running by the stream because we're always walking by it. Yes. So nice. We're on the we were on the running side today. Yes. And we only had one other person on the trail. And I wore purple today for Dopey. Oh, I wore one and died with my new Lululemon skirt. So I'll try to have Mama film me running. A little and insert that here. Don't forget to have courage and be kind. Today's two miles, 1057.
We are doing our mile walk home now. And you know it's bad when the sweat. It, I have a thing of bath and body antibacterial. And I'm holding it down, but it's not even leaking. You know it's bad when the sweat is just dripping down my arm, and I thought this was all spilling out. Nope, it's, it's sweat, the Mama. Sweat. Mama just informed me she's down. Was it six pounds? Well, I lost weight from Saturday from all the miles and the sweat, but then it crept back on. But I have taken some weight off, but without my thyroid, it's a struggle for me. No, but Mama, you've never trained in the past this much with me. So this no. has been a big deal for you. So I'm very proud of Mama. Now, if only I could start getting the sweat off. The sweat and the weight. That's what I mean, the weight if off. If we didn't get into the woods back there, it Ugh. would really be, we'd be burning up. Yes. It's pure sunshine today. So, I think it's 90% humidity, so it's tough. And we are considering doing a local Tuesday night race event that I used to do with Mr. James last year with a small running group and it's ten dollars for a 5k on the bike trail and they're limiting it to 50 people and in the past I think it's most it's been 20 people that have showed up at the most maybe 10 usually now I'd tell Mr. James or Mama whoever's running with me we're all gonna let them go ahead and we're just gonna go in the back so we're social distance from everybody. But it's just to get that atmosphere again and get a good training run in. We signed up last night for the virtual birthday bash 5K. That's one of my favorite races to do so I'm a little heartbroken it's a virtual this year. I understand though. And then this year we signed up for something new. We always do our 20k and this year they're offering a challenge but they made it virtual so you have one week and we're going to do the 5k 10k and the 12 12.4 12.5 so 12 is 20k i forget in one week and you earn the cowabunga challenge it's a cowbell medal because you always can use some more cowbell and mommy you're wearing your Dallas Day shirt. Yes. Aww. And last year I didn't sign up for this race. <laughs> nope. And Kimberly went to pick up her bib and t-shirt. I called Mama. I said, Mama. They still had space. And Kimberly it's a gorgeous and purple said, shirt. It's a gorgeous purple, Mama. So I said, sign me up. And then the funny thing is when we were starting the race, I was with a bunch of work. Uh, I was with a bunch of people from work. That I'm friends with that we're doing the race for charity so then I was a little late getting to the start line with mama and they wouldn't let us in the middle or the back so they there were no corrals or no waves. so they put us in the front very front, and it's very like, competitive because you can win round trip air tickets so we're not sure if they're gonna have that race this year with all the people we're crossing their fingers that it could happen but we're not sure um, that's where I got my fastest race of 58 minutes for a 10k back in 2015 for Lyme disease so we're crossing our fingers to get back to that pace eventually and mama you were down to a one what was your fastest time on that with Mr. James I think it was 116 yeah but mama we got to get you a 107 or under for marathon yes well new proof of time but then also a new 10 miler proof of time uh, that's gonna do it for this Tuesday's training. Stay tuned for Thursday. Hello! Today is Thursday, so that means we are out training. And look how adorable Mama is with her Bambi headband. And I got my matching mask. Yes, yeah, so thank you, Finn Lou. Mama loves that. I got my Mary Poppins one on. And we are aiming for two miles, but it's five o'clock. Got out late. But you know, it. We're just gonna do what we can and look we'll cute doing it. Yeah. Got my raw threads park one on today.
just reached one mile, pace 1004, including hills. So I'm very proud of Mama. I need a rest break. So for the next mile, we're gonna walk a little before counting the mile and then start uphill after the hill to go downhill to see if that'll help because we did hills this time. So, but mom is just precious with that I'm little trying. headband. She needs to wear them more often. They match our mask. Yes. Come as a set. You can buy them as a set. Yep. Taking a quick break. So far I'm doing an 8.30. Okay, so I'm very excited about that. And we're just waiting for Mama. She's doing excellent. I'm trying. Yes, you're doing great. Right up to here. And you're finished. We just finished two miles and I did a pace of 842 for the second mile. I felt like kicking it out. I think the fastest on my watch is at 805, but then we had to stop for traffic lights. So then instead of picking up and going, again, it's hard to maintain that pace. But Mama was just right after me. So I think she was in the nines tonight. So. You feel it? No, you weren't that far behind me. Two miles for tonight, and a little reminder that you are enough. We pushed our pace and it brought the average pace down to 9.25, so I'm extremely proud of Mama. Hi, good morning. Today is Sunday, July 12th, and I'm joined with Mama, and we yes. have five and a half miles for the Jeff Galloway Dopey Training Plan today. Join us for our run. Just reached mile one. Hey, Mama. Yes. What did you bring for nutrition today? My Gatorade. Yes, and then cherry jelly beans for the jelly sports, and then Propel. And it matches my shirt, but it's a nuisance to carry. So leave a comment if you have one of those hydration vests, which one do you have? And is it easy to get used to versus wearing the water bottle pack on your hip? I've done that before. And it just, I was frustrated with it. So mama's killing me. She made me come up our hill. So I took a quick breather. Hello ladies all the way up there. And this is the first time trying pro ties. And it's just coming out of my hair. So I'm frustrated. So wish me luck. We just reached mile two. Woohoo. Mama. We did a hill. She made me do the hill. I thought, let's take advantage of the big hill. And it was easy running down, but coming up is torture. Yes. On a hot day like this. Whew. I think for next time, we're gonna have to start at 6 a.m. Yep. Because it was hot when we ran Thursday evening, but this is just brutal. So I don't know how I had the energy Thursday because it zapped for me today. But the thing that counts is we're not giving up and we are out here doing this. We're doing the miles no matter how long it takes. Yes, there's no time limit. So we're gonna run to the traffic light and then cross. So we decided to come on the parkway so we're in some we're in shade, shade now and we're taking a break. We need it. Ugh. It's hot, Mom. It's in the 90s, probably, it or is. close to it, and it feels like the 90s. It does. Or worse, sweat's just pouring out of us. So I hope we're losing weight because Mama has something planned for yes. finishing our run. So my mind is going to get me. I'm thinking of my reward, and that's going to get me to my five and a half miles sooner. I wish this reward were gluten and dairy free, but it's not because they don't, they don't care at this place, but that's fine. We'll bust mama and I'll get a coffee or something there. So, all right, we're going to pick up our pace. It's around 2.4, I think right now. So, sweats in my eyes. Hi, hi, hi. 
There goes Mama. And what's up there? The bad hill. So I, 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 if you can see, it goes down a little and then you go up. So, all right. Don't be training the ups and downs. Mama, yes. we have the hill in front of us, but what did you spy? I said mile 33. But For three. If we cover up with three, I was hoping we were at mile three already. It's point two or 2.8. I thought we were getting close, but I thought it'd be cute timing it. Yeah, here we go. Still going. We just hit mile three, and we took a break on the hill, if you can yes. see behind us. We needed a break on that hill, because we already did our Yes. Other. The hills are a good part of training, because they train your legs, that you can do stronger things next time. Probably words Mr. James. The wisdom of Mr. James. Mama, yes. are you listening to any music in your head? Sometimes. So then I try to sing along. Yeah. I have Hamilton stuck in my head with the Ten Dual Commandments and wait for it. And I'll get you moving. I wouldn't be able to get that in. No, just think the Jefferson mama yeah, singing. Yeah, think of all the energy he has. We want his energy. All right. All right, here we go again. We are taking another stop because we have more people in the parkway and we have a mile and a half to the place we want to go and with the parkway it's shortening the distance so we're trying to find ways to make it longer. It's only in the 70s I looked at the weather. It feels a lot hotter. It's, it's almost 70% humidity so that'll do it for you. It'll be in the 90s today. but. We're at 3.7 something, so we're getting there. All right, let's go. Well, here we go in some nice shaded trails. And you can hear the tennis players behind us. Is it this way or that way, Mama? I think this is the place right. to We got our Lily with our Ariel New Balance. Waiting for people to go ahead of us a little. I got my Dopey Challenge 2018 shirt on. So, feeling a little dopey today. Mama, Mama, you coming back? She keeps getting ahead of me today. Hi, hi, hi. All right, all right, we have another person. Yes, this is too You keep steep. up running. Too steep. Like this hill. Holy smokes. Hi, Joe. Oh, my. Here's Mr. James Mimosa. Five and a half miles. 
106, not too bad. Beautiful. We just finished five and a half miles and we are gonna take a tip from the slackers because yes. mama runs for food. Yes. And this one's for Heather, also known as Runners Without Limits and Go Find Your Awesome. I'm so excited to get my reward. Yes, so here we go. All right, Mama's donut place. We're going in. I spy a hidden Mickey. Got my water, and we're waiting for Mom's donut. So Mama got her box of donuts. Look at that. Oh my That's goodness. Donuts. Do I open them up? Yes. Come over here in the shade. So, I'm disappointed because they have delicious cough, iced coffees, and right now with the limited menu, they're not offering them. So I get that, but it's just frustrating. So all I could get was water. So we're gonna go to Starbucks later today. Um, Five and a half miles. Mama gets donuts. I get water. Ay ay ay. Right, Mama. Mama's doing a lens read right there. You doing a lens read right there? Yeah. Let's see you go at it again. Come on. She'll run for donuts. She'll even run with donuts. People are gonna stop us on the path and say, could we have a donut? Now, Mama, yeah. You got chocolate donuts in there. I'm worried with the heat that they're not going to look like chocolate I anymore. I already got chocolate smeared on the corner of the box from opening it. Yeah. So I was glad it didn't get on my mask. <laughs> Still chugging away our water. I should have got a water, but I'll be all right. You got donuts, woman? Yes. When he said no coffees, I thought, you just broke my heart, sir. You just broke my heart. Well, if we went to Starbucks, we'd still be out in this heat. We wouldn't even be at my donut place yet. No. But you know, we don't get donuts very often. I can't remember. It's been several months. But after watching the slackers with those donuts, I thought I need at least one run I can get a donut. And we're trying this for Heather, so. I don't know if we can be like the slackers and eat the food and then run. Mm -mm, probably not. Sorry, slackers. We'll run for the food. Oh, if somebody had gluten-free beignets right now. Oh, French Quarter, please open soon. Mama. Yeah. I need a gluten-free donut, but yes, they don't that, have them. We used to have a bakery near the duck donuts that they did, did gluten free gluten free and they had donuts and things but yeah they didn't stay in business very long and that was several years ago anyone in disney want to send me some erin mckenna's i would be oh so grateful <laughs> contact me i'll give you money and we felt so honored to be a guest on Heather's podcast, Runners Without Limits, where it's Heather and Jen. Yes. And that came out as of yesterday when this video is coming out. So go check that out, the Runners Without Limits podcast with Heather and Jen. And we are honored to be a guest on this week's episode. So thank you so much, Heather. Thank you so much for watching this week's episode of Dopey Challenge Training. Don't ever give up. It's gonna be ups and downs with training. Thursday, we had a great pace with energy. Today, not so much, but that didn't stop us. We still got it and we got it done and it feels so great just to get it done. Isn't that right, Mama? Yes. That was a yes for Mama. So. As I walked under the tree branch. Yes, oh, that breeze feels very nice right now. All right, stay tuned for training episode five next week. And be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Click subscribe and tell your friends and family about us. All right, I'll see y'all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.